Compositing is one of my favorite things. You can take a shot like this, and you can make it snowy or really cold or kind of hot and fiery, rainy, stormy, creepy or spooky, or just a different place entirely. In this video, we're gonna talk all about it. Hey, how's it going? Todd here with Vidivo. And this video is all about compositing techniques, specifically ones that you can do using stock footage assets that aren't just your average kind of corporate shots. They're, you know, things like fog, snow effects, rain effects, uh, cool stormy clouds, things like that. There's a lot of stuff that you can find in stock that has nothing to do with like the corporate-y kind of stuff that you might usually use it for. So if you're not familiar with compositing, it's a term for when you take multiple visual elements and put them together in a way that makes them look like part of a whole. And even pretty simple stuff can be considered compositing. Like for example, take this shot right here where you might say the sky could be a little more interesting and you'd like there to be a little more going on. In that case, you could do a simple sky replacement like this. This is a really simple example of some compositing using a stock asset. And stuff like this is really easy to do inside of After Effects and I'm gonna show you how. So inside of After Effects, we'll duplicate our shot twice so we have three copies of it. And then we're gonna go to the top one and we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction and we'll drop some levels. We'll go to Effect, Color Correction and we'll also use tent and that'll make it black and white. So on our levels effect, we're going to bring our dark area way, way up so that it's purely black. And then we're gonna bring the higher end and bring it all the way right up next to the darker areas. And this is going to give us a nice clean Luma mat. So we're gonna take the Luma mat and we're going to turn it off and then we're gonna grab our track mat pick whip here and just select the Luma mat that we just made. And then uh, we can click on this little button right here and that's going to switch it from an alpha mat to a Luma mat. Currently we have only the sky visible. So what we can go ahead and do is invert it by clicking this little button right here. And now we can go find some nice cloud images. I found this one right here, which I'll have linked below. And uh, it's a free download, so you can check that out. And we're gonna go ahead and use that for our sky replacement. So let's drag our sky in between here. So we, we have one that's just a normal version of the shot, and then we have that one with the Luma key on it. And we're going to scale it up. We're gonna hit the S key and scale it up. And now we're gonna hit the T key and bring up our opacity control. And we're just gonna turn that quite a bit down because we don't want it to be too drastic, but we do wanna just add back some nice detail in the sky. And now we have a much more interesting shot of our sky with just a few clicks. Compositing is a great way to add atmosphere and a sense of scale to things. For example, I have these buildings that my friend Mike painted up and textured to look like a bombed out post-apocalyptic city. Stuff like this is a perfect candidate to add in some fog overlays and stuff like that in compositing, which is another example of a stock asset I find myself using very often when compositing shots. And so to give a sense of space to things, slowly moving fog or floating dust particles really help to give atmosphere to a scene. All right, so here we have our shot of our buildings. So the shot's moving, so we're going to need to go ahead and track it. So I'm gonna select our footage and go up into the tracker here and hit track camera. And it's going to think for a little while. And once it's done, if you go up into your effect controls panel and click on 3D camera tracker, now we'll see a whole bunch of tracking points. And what we're gonna do is kind of establish different layers that we can apply the fog to. So we're going to start with the back and we're just gonna select at least four, but we have a lot of good tracking points here. I'm gonna right click, create solid and camera. And so now we have a camera down here as well as a solid. I'm gonna name this solid, uh, we'll call it back building. And I'm gonna select our footage again, go back to our 3D camera tracker effect and let's get this middle range building here. So we're gonna select all of that and right click and now we'll just only select create solid because we don't need two cameras so now we have a solid for the middle buildings a solid for the back buildings and then i'll go back hit 3d camera tracker again 
and uh, let's grab this front range of buildings. So we'll just grab something like that. All right, so we have a back building, middle building, and front building solid. We're gonna go ahead and turn those off for now. And so now we can start bringing in some fog. So I'm gonna take our fog and just kind of drag it in. So here is how I like to use stuff like fog. So I'm going to click on our fog asset here and I'm going to click this little box here to make it 3D. So that means now it's going to respond to our camera. I'm gonna go ahead and click on our front building here and I'm gonna hit the P key and I'm going to click on position and I'm gonna control C and copy the position data there and then I'm going to control V to paste it. It's become quite giant at this point so we can go ahead and just scale it down quite a bit. So what I like to do is I grab the pen tool here at the top and we're going to just kind of draw a shape that doesn't look too predictable. You don't want just like a square or a straight up just normal circle. Just kind of give it sort of a abstract shape here. And then we're gonna select our fog and we're gonna hit the F key and we're going to feather it. We're gonna turn up this mask feather amount right here and something right in there. You want to turn it up, but you don't want to go so far where you can see the uh, the actual bounding box of the footage there. So we're going to turn it down until that kind of disappears right in there. Looks good to me. So we're at about 250. So for stuff like fog, anything that's white, where you want to remove the black areas, you're going to either use add mode or screen mode on your blending modes here. Screen is going to look a little more natural. Add is going to give a little bit more punch, but I tend to use screen the majority of the time. I just feel like it's easier to control. So we can just sort of get it in position somewhere that looks kind of nice and boom, there we go. Now from here, it's pretty easy. You can actually just go ahead and duplicate it by hitting control D and I'm gonna bring it over on this side now and I'm gonna uh, just flip it. I'm gonna flip it upside down so it looks different and we'll scale it up, kind of just give it a different look. And uh, on this one, we're going to just click down here and just drag it so we're looking at a different part of the clip. Uh, so there's multiple ways that it looks different. We can also kind of shift it back a little bit so that it looks a little, even a little more different as, as the camera moves. You see that sort of sense of parallax, like one's moving a little bit more than the other. So uh, now we can just establish some different layers of fog. So we can duplicate that and uh, we'll go to our back building solid here and we'll copy that position and we'll paste it to this one. And again, it's really big. And so we can go ahead and scale it down some, kind of get it in position. Maybe this one we can let it be, maybe this one can kind of move like sideways a little bit. Like maybe there's like a burning car down here or something. And so this is kind of how you'll approach a lot of your compositing elements. You'll just figure out the right placement for them and you will mask them out in a way that looks natural. And uh, yeah, just pick the right blend mode for the particular asset. So most of the time you're gonna be working with screen or add. And let's say you wanna keep adding stuff. All you gotta do is just keep duplicating your elements and if you hold down the alt key you can drag any element down on top of it and it'll replace that element um, so now we've got some uh, some kind of floating sort of dust particles and uh, those are gonna look kind of cool maybe scale them down a little bit and uh, yeah you can really quickly build out your scene just by duplicating holding down the alt key and dragging a new uh, clip on top so then after some color correction and keying the background out and adding in some ominous clouds, here's what I ended up with. And while this shot certainly won't win any Academy Awards, you at least see the point of how using stock, fog, and dust in compositing can certainly bring more life to just about anything with a bit of elbow grease. So whether you're adding some stormy clouds or a sky replacement or just adding some snow to a scene that you want it to feel cold. Uh, I hope you picked up some things that you might take with you from this video. And uh, yeah, it's lots of fun. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.